Hello? We're not done with this. We just like we're like right near the ending. Who circus is should be the same thing. We learned from FNAF 3 that Fredbear was the very first Freddy and so featured a dangerous spring lock design. This unfortunately led to the death of Crying Child in FNAF 4 after his big brother and a group of bullies shoved him inside Fredbear's mouth. Due to the date of this game, speculated to take place in the year 1983, it is believed this event was not the Bite of 87, but rather a second bite now known as the Bite of 83. But this is greatly debated to this day. In Ultimate Custom Night, Fredbear actually speaks when jump-scaring us. However, his vocals are muffled and distorted. Be sure to come back soon. There's more fantastic and fun where I came from. Let's find a suit that's right for you. A nightmare version of Fredbear appears during FNAF 4 2. He looks very similar to Nightmare Freddy, save for the fact his body is a dirty gold color and his features far more exaggerated. I assure you, I am very real. Let me put you back together and take you apart all over again. Dreadbear, that's not even there. Dreadbear is a play on the term Fredbear, and is a hammer horror take on the design of that character. He basically looks like Frankenstein's monster, with stitches all over his body, sharp claw-like fingers, bolts through his neck, and bright glowing eye sockets. Guys, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I'm gonna have to sacrifice apps now. He was first introduced to the series when he appeared in FNAF Help Wanted DLC, The Curse of Dreadbear. And his minigame is quite literally set inside a mad scientist laboratory, where we must perform a deranged brain transplant. Golden Freddy is a ghostly form of the bear who has completely unknown origins. He shows up in very spooky ways throughout the various Five Nights games. In the first game, for example, if we encounter a very specific series of events after his poster appears in one of the security cameras, Golden Freddy then appears in the office and causes the screen to glitch and random images to flash up alongside bizarre audio before jump scaring the player and causing a game over. You may have noticed the jump scare noise is unique to Golden Freddy. He is one of only a few animatronics to feature a bespoke scare audio. In FNAF 2, Golden Freddy takes on a more withered guise, one in line with the other animatronics from that game. Oh my god. Peter Scott Corfin doesn't even have an explanation for this mystery character himself, stating the following. Sometimes things just happen during the game making process. I can't explain Golden Freddy. Of course, theories have been made, but just like the Bite of 83, no one knows if these fanborn ideas are accurate, and it seems like Golden Freddy really is an unexplainable anomaly within the madness of this sinister world. There are other versions of Freddy we could mention, including Shadow Freddy, who makes a few brief appearances, and Ned Bear, who has a minor role in FNAF 6 and Custom Night. And other designs have shown up in spin-off games and books, as well as his upcoming glam rock appearance from the game Security Breach. However, for now, this seems like a good point to wrap up this particular look at the character. I hope you enjoyed this video. We are completing Freddy. Thank you. That took at least 